What's going on guys? Welcome back to Pat Outdoors. Today we're going to be working on another bike that I actually haven't talked about yet. I'm still waiting on some parts to come in for the YZE project. So I recently picked up a pit bike to work on for the meantime to satisfy my addiction. This is a 2003 Yamaha TTR90 and it is absolutely clapped out. It barely runs right now. It's got really low compression and it smokes heavily. The seat is all torn up, plastics are beat. Front and rear tires are completely flat. The handlebar is bent and the fork is actually a little twisted. The plastics are barely hanging on there. So I just wanna give you guys a general idea of the rough condition this bike is in before we do a teardown and a complete rebuild similar to my Razor projects. So this thing, I'm just gonna say it right now, is gonna be converted to electric but it is gonna be more powerful than these and it's gonna be a little bit more off-road focused. First thing I wanna focus on is removing all of the drivetrain components, such as the engine, the gearbox, the exhaust system, the fuel lines, carburetor, throttle cable, ignition system, all the parts that we're no longer gonna need for the conversion. And then we're gonna take a closer look at the frame design to see what we're working with. This is actually my first gas powered pit bike that I've ever owned. And I gotta say, it's pretty amazing how easy it is to work on it. I was able to pull this engine off along with all these other parts off the bike in less than 20 minutes. What's interesting is the frame design is very open. So unlike my YZ250, you have to work to pull the engine out of the frame. On this bike, you essentially have to just unhook all the lines and the wiring harnesses, unbolt the motor mounts and pull the whole bike off of the engine. And then you can just leave the engine sitting on the skid plate that's built on it. Super easy. I wasn't really planning on doing a full teardown today, but while we're at it, we might as well pull off the computer, the wiring harness, and the rest of the remaining electronics that we're no longer gonna need. I'm really liking how open and simple this frame design is. And from looking at the engine mounting points, it looks like a good candidate for like a QS120 kit. And then maybe mount the battery over here, far driver controller back here. Still gotta do some measuring before we pull the trigger. I prefer not to spend much more than six or $700 for a motor controller combo though. Let me know if you have a specific kit you'd like to see on this and I'll look into it. Well, there's certainly no backing out of this project now. Luckily, I was able to find somebody who wanted to buy this whole engine, wiring harness, and computer combo to use as a rebuild and convert their older TTR90 to electric start. 
which allowed me to recoup a lot of the funds that I used to buy this bike and put towards the conversions. All right guys, well I gotta wrap up shipping this thing out so I can head down to the beach for the weekend. But if you enjoyed today's video, do me a favor and hit that like button. And if you like this kind of content, you wanna keep up with some of my projects such as the TTR, the YZE, or my razors, consider subscribing to this channel. But this is gonna be it for today. Thank you for watching.